Hi, I'm Kristen of Naturally Dolling and Gluten Free Fox, and this is our Gluten Free Dog Waylon. Good boy. Now, I'm so tired, though, of buying foods for, for Waylon, who is gluten sensitive, and then finding out that the foods actually contain gluten. A lot of pet foods out there, you have to be careful, are labeled gluten free, and they do still contain barley or oats, which can be contaminated. So definitely look at the labels. And in my case, I have been looking at the labels. So I'm even more frustrated with the fact that these um, foods are actually showing that they contain gluten, which is why poor Mr. Whalen has still been having problems with itchy skin. So um, I have already gone ahead and tested two of the foods that I've tried for him. The first food that I've tried, Core by Wellness. And Waylon sure enjoys it, um, and we've been giving it to him for a few months, but still have problems with itchy skin and a little bit of problem with the stool. So what I'm wondering is, is it really gluten-free? So this morning I ran the Elisa test kit on it and came up with this. See, there's a top line and a bottom line there, which indicates that This is between a positive and a high positive. Um, there's a very faint center line. So this definitely contains some gluten. Next, I consulted a, um, an expert and came up with this. This is Origin. This was my number two choice for him. And you know I heard some great reviews about it. So I purchased the Origin, which is also supposed to be gluten free. And I tested this one twice because I really did not believe it. But um, positive, once again. So I'm at a loss. You know, I don't know what to do. Um, I need to keep looking. I'm going to find a food for him. In the meantime, he does seem to do very well with the Newman's Own grain-free canned food. Um, we mix that sometimes, especially if you need some kind of medication or something. We'll mix that in. So I've saved my last test kit so that I can go ahead and test this one in front of you so we can find out um, if there's any hope out there. And if any food is doing good, I would hope that it's Newman. So I'm going to go ahead and take my sample. And plop that into the solution. Now I just need to mix this for two minutes. Now that I've mixed the solution for two minutes, I'm going to let it sit for another five. Now that I've allowed the solution to sit for five minutes, I'm going to place ten drops into the test tube. So I'm going to pull ten drops off of the top of the mixture. And then I'm going to place my Easy Gluten Test Strip into the solution and allow that to sit for another 10 minutes while the results develop. So it's been 10 minutes and I've just finished testing the Newman's Own. This is Newman's Own Organics and this is the one that says Green Free. So if you do go to Whole Foods or any of the pet food stores and look for this one. I purchased mine at Whole Foods, um, specifically get the one that's grain free. And this one did come out negative. So these test kits are working. You can see here um, they're not all coming out positive, just the ones that really have gluten in it. So there you go. Two lines. We have a negative test. So Newman's own um, wet food, grain free so far, is coming out gluten free. The origin and the core are both tested positive for gluten. So if your dog's gluten-free and if you need to maintain a gluten-free diet for your health, then definitely stay away from these foods with gluten in them. Don't handle them. Don't feed them to your dog. It could, ca could cause itching, problems with his coat, digestive problems. Um, you know, you can talk to your vet more about that. But anyway, I'm really glad to know that the Newman's Own is safe and I highly recommend it. I'm going to continue my search and try to find a dry food for Waylon that is gluten-free and I'll keep you posted.